It's one of the age-old belly dance questions. How do you wear your makeup for gigs versus the stage? When applying the eyeshadow, you can use the exact same technique for both styles, but what you want to do is really pack on the color and intensity on the stage makeup versus gig makeup. This is going to add more depth and highlight to your eyes, which is important when you're under bright stage lights. For the highlight, I'm using a MAC eyeshadow that's in the color Gesso and is very matte. I'm going to apply it in the exact same areas, the tear duct and the brow bone for both looks, but the stage look has much higher intensity to provide dimension, while the gig look is soft and natural. For contouring, I like to use this Sculpting Cream by MAC in Copper Beach and an angled fluffy brush. You'll see I applied it in the exact same areas, but the intensity is much higher for the stage makeup. This is because the stage lights really wash you out and you create angles. I applied under the chin, at the temples, and also around the nose. At the end of it all, the stage makeup may look scary. You want to set your cream bronzer with a powder, so I use Milani's and I use this lighter shade for my natural gig look and a mix of both for my stage look to increase the intensity. For blush, you will see a huge difference in pigmentation. For stage makeup, it's super pink, and it may look a little bit like a clown in the mirror, but under stage lights, you'll actually look like your natural gig look. For my face highlight, I love my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's just as important to highlight as contour, so you really want a nice intensity around the eyes to cover any circles along the nose to add more depth, just above the lips, and on the chin as well. Now the setting powder is the trick. I use a very shimmery powder on stage looks to make it very reflective on stage, while a matte look for gigs to make it natural. For stage eyelashes, they're very thick and long compared to the gig ones. They're applied the same, but for the stage you can get away with more flair and actually really need the intensity, while in close venues you want to look more like you're going out than having something too much. For backtracking, I love to have this Maybelline liner, which is very pointy and great for being precise to cover up any glue and really blend them in so you, everything's fancy fancy. For more upbeat gig venues and stage, you can add this glitter along your eyelid for an extra pop. For lips, I love to use combos of reds and pinks and purples. I use the lighter pink natural shades for gigs and the intense red for stage. The red will appear more natural under those stage lights. What you want to do is take your pink or red color and draw along your lips and fill it in as a nice primer. For the stage look, you want to draw outside your lips because the limbs do shrink on stage and in the mirror may look crazy, but it's good for you. And then I'm going to take my lipstick and put it all over and it's going to look a little flat. So what we'll do then is take this dark purple color and put it along the corners to add dimension. For the stage look, we can get a little more fancy and add some lavender and pink craft glitter. What I'll start with is add the pink first and then layer the lavender on top for some 3D fun effects. And luscious lips, mwah! So now hopefully your questions are answered about gig makeup versus stage makeup.